this back from my FFL the other day, so let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing on this, which is the Beretta M9 9mm handgun. Comes with a little chamber lock. This came with two 10 round magazines. I had to get the California compliance version since the state I live in, Washington, recently passed a magazine capacity law, which regulates us to only owning 10 round magazines. Okay, so got the warranty and got some just legal stuff they got to put in there. And then we got the manual here. Now, if you notice, this says it's for the 92 FS. When in fact, this is actually the Beretta M9. Do a quick safety check. We're clear. So the Beretta M9 and the 92FS are essentially the same. Although the 92FS was designed for civilian use and this is designed for the armed forces. And they're almost exactly the same. The only real differences I could find on them was the sights on the M9 use a two dot system and the 92FS use a three dot system. And then the grip screws on the M9 are torque screws and the grip screws on the 92FS use slotted screws. So now that we got that out of the way, I just wanted to take a quick look at this thing. I really like the look of it. Kind of has a 1911 style look to it. And it has this feature here, a decocker. That will lower the hammer and put the trigger back into the starting position. And it has that on both sides, which is nice because I'm left-handed. Another thing, which is nice for left-handed people is the mag release can be taken out and put onto that side, which I will be doing eventually. And this is a single double action semi-automatic handgun. So the single action trigger pull on it is considerably heavier. The double action is really light. I also wanted to add, if you're getting this in a state that doesn't have magazine capacity laws, the standard magazine for this is 15 plus one. So you would get an extra five if you don't live in a state that infringes on your constitutional rights. There's the site, the two dot site. And then I just also wanted to quickly show how easy it is to take this thing down. So on this side, there's this little button there. You just push that, turn this down, and slide comes out. So it's even easier than taking apart a Glock. But yeah, I haven't taken this shooting yet. I will be doing that here in the next few days. So keep an eye out for those videos. And until then, give me a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.